Hey guys, it's Brianna here. Excuse my hair, I'm about to do a makeup tutorial for you guys. And it is the, um, a part of my, I'm having like two videos for Valentine's Day tutorials. And this one is the simple, um, kind of elegant look. It's a very soft kind of look. This is the softer look. This is the romantic and sweet look. And I'm going to have two videos this year. And the next one's going to be more like sexy and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy this if video. If you want any more videos, just message me or whatever, email me. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Well, first off, I wanted to start off with um, my foundation, which I already put on. Um, this is Fit Me by Maybelline. And the cap is on backwards, but it's I'm in 115. If you need to put a base on your eyes, you don't really have to, but um, I'm just going to use my MAC Paint Pot and Painterly, which the name looks like that, Painterly. I'm going to take it on my ring finger and put it all over my eye lid. And then next you're going to take um, a shimmery base eye color. And I'm going to use Lancome Pink Zinc. And it's a metallic color. And it's a very pretty color. And it's a pink color because you are trying to go for... A softer kind of look and I'm going to use my Lancome um, eyeshadow pencil uh, eyeshadow brush I'm just gonna put this all over my eyelid and it just looks like that and then next with my essence brush my Essence for Beauty brush, I'm going to take a pink from my e.l.f. palette, which there is only one pink, so it's this one right here. I'm going to work this into my crease. And then next for your highlight, you are going to um, use a white color, which I'm just going to use this random one. I think this is, I don't even know where this is from, but I've used a lot of this highlight. It's very shimmery. That's the downside to it, but I'm just going to use this random brush. I'm just going to put this right under my brow bone. And then for um, eyeliner, I'm going to use the um, Avon Super Shock liner in black and metal and I've used quite a lot of this. This is one of my favorite things right now. The brush I'm using for this eyeliner is my flat eyeliner brush from Mark by Avon. So yeah and you could add fake lashes but since it is a kind of sweet look I don't really want to just overdo the eyes. So I just finished lining the top lashes with my gel liner. And this is very difficult to do for me, but I do do it on rare occasions because I like the way it looks. And if you want to, you can um, wing out it a little bit, which I just did. Because it makes it look um, more flirty. So I did wing it out. And on the bottom lash, I'm going to use a pencil liner on my waterline. Because I like the way it looks, and this is not a black, like it's more of like a charcoal black, but I like the black on my waterline. And I'm going to use um, Lancome Coal Eyeliner Pencil in Black Ebony. So, there you go. I'm just going to line. And so my um, waterline is black now. My water lines are black. Now. My water lines are black now, as you can see. And next I'm going to use a white eye pencil. And this one's by Sephora. Just a basic white pencil. Um, and I'm just going to put this in the corner of my like by my tear duct, kind of creates a highlight for your eyes because it just like lightens your eyes up a little bit and opens them up. But after I do that, after I, um, after I kind of 
finish the eyeliner and stuff, I'm going to find a mascara to use, which I'm going to use two in this look because you do need flirty but lashes. But next you're going to um, do your lashes. And the first mascara I'm going to use is just a high definition mascara that I do not like. Um, this is Lancome uh, High Definition Mascara. This looks like that. And you're just going to put this all over your lashes. After you put on this mascara, you're going to put on um, another mascara. Which this one, I like this one more because it kind of like, it adds more volume. And this is Alme One Coat Dial Up. And I'm going to put this on setting three. The applicator looks like that. So your mascara is on. Next you're going to work with blush. Um, <clears throat> I am just going to use the lightest blush that I do have, or one of my lighter ones. This is the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer. I'm not going to wear a bronzer for this look, but um, the blush looks like this. It is kind of like a knockoff or a dupe for uh, Orgasm by uh, NARS. So I'm going to get my blush brush, which is by Mark for Avon. Looks like that. I love the brushes because they're so soft. And then you're just going to take this and put this on the apples, or by the apples of your cheeks, not really on the apples, but just to give you like a light flirtatious kind of blush look. So yeah, um, and then you're going to kind of, I have this blush that kind of highlights, I have this blush that kind of highlights your face and Prestige Smooth Minerals and Peach. And they're like organic kind of products. And I'm just going to put this on the apples of my cheeks since it is a lot lighter. So yeah, it just kind of like gives my face a glow. And next is my favorite part is the lips. And this is a NARS matte, velvet matte lips, lip pencil in Roman Holiday. And it just looks like this. I'm just going to use this as my lip liner and kind of my fill-in for right now. And I love this because it's very um, moisturizing and it's a beautiful Barbie pink color. And smells really good. So yeah, that is not going to be the final color. And next I'm going to take a Revlon lip butter. And this is in Sweetheart. And it's kind of like a hot pink, I would say. Something like that. And then you just... Put on your lips. And I feel like the lips are the most important part of this look. And it's a very soft look for compared to the next look I'm going to do. The next look is going to be more sultry, more sexy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm... I will try to do more tutorials soon. I am about to start school again. This will be uploaded while I'm at school, but uh, because I like doing videos kind of ahead of time and then uploading them because it gives me time to kind of think of ideas, think of ideas. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys have an amazing Valentine's Day and this kind of helps out a little bit. But.